We find in the Bible book of Genesis that the first creative day encompassed everything mentioned in the first seven verses of the Bible. Since it was written in Hebrew, we must look at the word day in the Hebrew language. And in so doing, we find that it is the word yom and can either mean a literal 24-hour day or a long period of time signifying some kind of event. In 1927, Jesuit priest scientist Georges Lamatre proposed the idea of a Big Bang creation event. Following this, many scientists took up that banner and did more research on the subject, and eventually it became the accepted theory that the universe originated from a Big Bang billions of years ago, and that all matter, space, and time originated from that beginning, and has continued to expand and stretch to this very day. Interestingly, we find that this concept is 100% biblical. There are 11 passages in the Bible which mention this. Here are three of them. Notice the following passages. Isaiah 42, 5 says, Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and its offspring, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. Isaiah 51, 13, That you have forgotten the Lord your Maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. Jeremiah 10:12. It is He who made the earth and its power, who established the world by its wisdom, and by His understanding He stretched out the heavens. Showing that it is God alone who is responsible for the beginning and existence of the universe, the Bible states, For by Him all things were created, both in heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through Him and for Him. The Bible even states that this process is still ongoing in Isaiah 40:22. It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in it. Notice that this passage emphasizes the process of stretching and spreading is an ongoing process. Astrophysicist Hugh Ross stated the following. This simultaneously finished and ongoing aspect of cosmic stretching is identical to the Big Bang con concept of cosmic expansion. According to this concept, all the physics, specifically the laws, constants, and equations of physics, are instantly created, designed, and finished at the Big Bang creation event so as to guarantee an ongoing continual expansion of the universe at exactly the right rates with respect to time so that physical life will be possible. This biblical claim for simultaneously finishing and ongoing, the act, and ongoing acts of creation, incidentally, is not limited to just the universe's expansion. The same claim is made for God's laying earth's foundations, Isaiah 51.13 and Zechariah 12.1. This is consistent with the geophysical discovery that certain long-lived radiometric elements were placed into the earth's crust a little more than four billion years ago in just the right quantity so as to guarantee the continual building of continents. And so we find that what is happening is that more and more scientists are determining that the weight of the evidence confirms that instead of it being what is called a Big Bang, instead it is a controlled release of energy, matter, space, and time that is only explainable by the existence of an intelligent creator.